Manchester United nil, Valencia nil. I could sum that game up for you, but I'm pretty sure Old Trafford did it a lot better than I could. Booze. Booze at Old Trafford, a ground that rarely boos, that took so long to boo under David Moyes, has booed tonight. Man United now have gone two months without a win at Old Trafford. We followed up the Wolves game and the Derby game by losing away to West Ham and now drawing 0-0 against Valencia in the Champions League. And if anybody's face summed up that performance, it was Gary Neville's. He looked lost sitting in the Old Trafford stands. And for me, looking at that performance tonight, again, a bunch of lost boys. Now, the problem against West Ham, you look, there was a complete lack of energy or any sort of desire from United's players to win the ball, to move in attack. In the first 10 minutes against Valencia, that wasn't the problem. United were there. Great pressing, out of possession, you know, good movement going forward, nice runs off the ball from Sanchez and Rashford. But then we were just shit. An absolute team, looked like a pub team. We really did. A team of strangers, not a team. Now, Valencia, on the other hand, looked like a team. Very good passing, short passing, into the, into the spaces. They were threatening. And the only reason Man United came away with a, a slightly undeserved point tonight was the fact that Valencia couldn't finish their dinner. They were awful in front of goal, created so many opportunities, but the finishing was just poor. United hardly created anything at all. And for me, that performance tonight, it really felt like nil-nil against PSV under Louis van Gaal in the Champions League. Again, a similar sort of game where Man United failed to really create anything too dangerous. Had a lot of possession, had a lot of movement up to the final third, but then didn't create hardly anything. And that's exactly what we saw tonight against Valencia. The problem against West Ham were the players, they just couldn't be fucked to play. Tonight, the problem against Valencia was the players they couldn't play. And remember, this is a Valencia team that was comfortably beaten by a 10-man Juventus team in the first leg when Ronaldo got sent off for a record in the first half. Juventus were all over them. United are so far away from that elite sphere of a club in terms of their football right now, it is frightening. And, you know, after Wolves, after Derby, after West Ham, all the pressure that's on Jose Mourinho, you needed to see more from the players again tonight. You know, you saw Rio Ferdinand and Paul Scholes talking about it in the, on their pre-match build-up on BT Sport. They didn't hold back in their criticism of Jose Mourinho. And I think, he's, I think his mouth is probably out of control and I think he's embarrassing the club. Scholes saying that Mourinho is embarrassing. You know, Ferdinand saying that he can see that the dressing room feels lost. It's what he saw under David Moyes when he was there. And it's hard to disagree with that, with what you're seeing on the pitch there. What the fuck do United do in training all week? Professional footballers playing a game of football like a team of strangers. It really was awful. And, you know, and I hate to pick out individuals, but Antonio Valencia looks absolutely finished at right back. For me, the one thing he had left was his defensive positioning. He was always in the right position at the right time. Not very good going forward, but defensively he was strong. Tonight, he looked like Patrice Evra towards the end. Always caught up the field, having to get bailed out by midfielders and Sanchez and Matic covering in space behind him, just like Evra did back when he couldn't be asked to run back. And Valencia's got a hell of a, hell of a tank on him, so he's got no excuse. He was awful. Lukaku, again, another game which really did pass him by. I don't want to be hypercritical of players, but uh, if Mourinho was the man at fault for the West Ham game, I think the players have got to take a hell of a lot of the brunt tonight because it was a strong attacking team. They just couldn't fucking attack. And even when the old Trafford crowd was chanting attack, 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 United couldn't do it. And I wasn't confident really at any point that United were going to score. And even if we did score like a 1-0 Fellaini with a 93rd minute header to win it, it wouldn't have changed the feeling around the club right now. The club really is in free fall. It's a recent situation now with Manchester United where a win doesn't change the feeling around the club. And that is when you know things are bad. Now, I don't really know where United go from here. We've got Jose Mourinho in charge still, a manager who clearly has lost the faith of some, if not, not all of his players, but some of his players. He's certainly lost faith and support of a lot of United fans. And what we saw tonight against Valencia, 0-0 at Old Trafford, that's not going to get any fans back on his side. And as I said after the West Ham game, I really felt like it was an inevitability, more of a when instead of if that Jose Mourinho is going to get sacked as Manchester United manager. And the unfortunate reality is that tonight against Valencia, we saw nothing 
that is going to change that narrative. We saw nothing from the players that really showed they're going to fight for the manager. Yes, they ran around the pitch for the manager. That's one thing. But they may have, they may have just done that for themselves to show that they're ready to play for the badge on their chest. For me, the players aren't playing for Jose Mourinho. And the fans, they booed at full time. And that sums up the feeling around Manchester United right now. It's toxic from top to bottom. And a win against Newcastle, for me, it's really not going to change the current feeling in the club that Mourinho has to go as Manchester United manager.